use this one. Can't see it. You can't see it. Fuck's sake. Hold on. There we go. So it was this one. Ah, there we go. Okay, uh, I'm gonna pick... I picked Boop yesterday, so I'll pick Swimsuit. Oh, that's not Suki. I'll do... Tear. Do what? Tears. Tear. So very muffled. Uh... Um, I don't have my... I don't have my mic on. Mic from the party. Yeah, you sound really muffled. Aura. He tells John that I'm in my mic on the computer. Okay. John. Bring your mic on the computer. Okay. 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 You need to get Discord. It is. Okay. Uh, your turn to pick one. Wait, let me. Lust, obviously. That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> Who the fuck do you think I'm gonna pick? Anime. Socks, cause die high socks. It's good. Just for you, unlucky. Motherfucker. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> um. It's a ray. Ooh, sensational. How do you get the best ones? <laughs> Climax. Climax! <laughs> and Papa! Oh, motherfuckers. Um. Starscape, because I like stars. Uh, cool. Cool. Pickle. Pickle. Yeah. Sounds like pickle. Cool. Uh, passion. Oh. Uh. Covid. Mm. Of it. Cage. Cage. No, I'm not picking cage. Milk. 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 <laughs> Get it. Uh, dark. That's. Hello. Yeah, I knew that would be Sarah. Wait a minute. I gotta angle myself. I'm trying to. Ow. Buckle. Music down a bit. Ling doom. Gilly suit. Okay. There we go. Uh, pure, cause I'm a pure baby. I'll show you are. Uh, ooh, vivacious. Am. Nibble. Mm. Nibble. Nibble. Oh, I knew it would be Natsuki. Oh. I bet that'll be Sayori. I bet death would be Sayori. And suicide. I'd... And anxiety would be- That would be fucking Sayori. No. Is that or Yuri? Well, Yuri wouldn't be too small. Uh, actually, yeah, she does, doesn't she? Okay. Sewer slide. Sewer slide. Yuri. It was Yuri, motherfucker. Okay, who's being Monica today? Um. Uh, so you're doing the text I was Monica. And so you. you be Monica. Okay. I'll be Sayori. You be Nova. I'll be Natsuki. I'll be Nova. Oh, I'm a man now. Yeah, you'll be Nova. Oh, or, you have a dick now. Okay. <laughs> so I'm officially Monica, have a dick. Monica Nova and Natsuki. Yeah, you officially have a dick. Okay. Oh man. I'm the last hey, one here again. Wait, no, I'm Natsuki. What do you mean? Oh, well, who am I then? Yuri. Cause I thought you yeah. said I was Monica, Nova, and Natsuki, and you were Sayori uh lines. And... I'm Sayori and Natsuki. 
Okay, I'm the lines as well. Okay, I'll be the lines. You're Yuri, Nova, and Monica. Okay. Here we go. Three for three. Don't there worry, I just walked in too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and now picking up piano? Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Well, I'm Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival too. We did not hear any of that. We just heard, ah, and then you cut out. His internet's probably gone out again. God damn it. Okay. Oh, I can't wait for the festival. Oh, God. <laughs> Gonna be great! Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Eh? Weren't you complaining about it just yesterday, Natsuki? Why is your voice, like, 30 octones lower? <laughs> I don't know. Yo, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the fest. Fucking stickers are puncturing my me, daddy. I'm not talking about our part of the fest. <laughs> Fuck. I need to get these off. Stickers are eating my ass. Hold on. Oh my god. Ow! Lucky the people come to fucking watch a playthrough, not listen to you talk about stickers and eating your ass. Well, they came for porn then. Because oh the stickers are currently eating my ass. And that okay. can be classified as that. Ah! I'm lucky. Fuck. Please just read your fucking words. <laughs> I can't read it from here. Why? What are you doing? Ow, bitch! And one. Yeah, infantry on I know, he's very loud. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, he's- he's- All day of school. He ear rapes, <laughs> I know. You eat all kinds of dick. dick? Delicious- oh. I'm like, <clears throat> Delicious foods. You sound a bit like cereal oh. all of a sudden. I am cereal. Ew. Uh, Monica, do they usually have fried squid? Oh my god, she's into cat tentacles. Squid. That's eh. a specific <laughs> thing to look forward to. Ah, uh, come on. Are you saying you don't like squid? <laughs> you don't like juicy tentacles? <laughs> oh, stop. <laughs> you, of all people? Oh eh, god, that's I didn't say I don't like it. Thing. Besides, what do you mean by y you of all people? Cuz. A nice body. Write your name. Oh! <laughs> what? I don't get yeah. that. Monica. Why is Mon she in such a good mood? I don't get why fucking Natsuki's in such a good mood. Eh? Yeah, didn't That's beat not her how you today. say my name at all. Also, that joke. Bleh. Um, also, Ika. that joke makes no sense in translation. Dot, dot, dot. Uh, never mind. Let's just focus on our, for our own event now, okay? The wall is now beaten to shit. <laughs> no, he's not drunk, I promise you. I, well, I mean... <laughs> Unlucky, I'm just fine. read your lines and calm down. Yes. <laughs> I read my fucking line, shut your mouth. You didn't say fine, fine. Yes, I did. Did you? May oh. not may not have heard it. Your reactions aren't as fun as Yuri's or Sayori's anyways. Excuse Fucking me? Bitch. Where is Sayori anyway? Oh, there you are. Sayori is sitting at a desk in the corner of the room looking down at nothing. I'll walk over to her. Mm, the depression's getting to her now, boys. Yep. Hey Sayori. I have my hand in front of her face. Eh? You're spacing out again. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Don't mind me. Can't. You can go talk to everybody else. Huh? Is everything alright? Of. Of course. <laughs> oh my god. I wouldn't, why wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me, you fucking bitch. Fine, see? I thought that said sex. Um, oh my god, of 
course you did. Very short. Shows your quick smile. Don't let me distract you from having having fun with everybody. Well, all right, if you say so. A wordly a wordly worriedly glance at Sayori before turning back toward everyone else. This is why our fucking streams lost like two hours because you can't even read. <laughs> yeah, I can't read. <laughs> can't read. But the conversation has already dispersed with everyone back at the uh, <laughs> their use usual. usual. <laughs> you need. You shut. No. Maybe I should ask Monica if she's noticed anything about Suri recently. She's the reason. Yep. Since they've been preparing for the for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. I timidly approached Monica, who was stuffling through some papers shuffling. at her desk. Hey, this might sound a little strange, but have you noticed anything up with Sayori recently? Anything up with her? I'm gonna oh, kill maybe. myself. I have dyslexia. Maybe I'm reading into it a little too much, but she seems to be a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Monica appears across the room with Sayori, who's idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. I used to do that. Maybe uh, I never did that. Mind. I did it when I was bored. But I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Nova. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really like this. She's always talked to me about things that's bothered her. But this time when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> it's important to me, too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. And I also care about the well-being of my club members, you know. Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Uh, are you sure about that? She seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she just has a hard time getting up from person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Nova. Me. How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well... I probably shouldn't say too much, but Sarah talks about you more than anything else, you know. Eh. She's been so much happier ever since you've joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned on inside of her. <laughs> more like another bottle broke. What? Fuck! Sarah anyway, is always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different now than it always has been. <laughs> You're so funny, Nova. Have you thought that maybe you've always seen her as so cheerful? Because just shit because that's just how she is when you're around you. fuck yeah well we, we get the point when she's around you dot 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 oh i said too much i'm sorry what do i know anyway i didn't mean to jump to conclusions so you should just forget about what i said i'll try to talk to her so try not to think about it for now uh all right monica smiles meaningfully shit that was your part that's my line i'm sorry <laughs> i know she said to forget about it I already, already know that, that, will, that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room to where Sayori is sitting. She's gonna go tell her to hang herself. Yep. Watch her kneel down next to Sayori and gently talk to her. Fuck, bitch, fuck, She's keeping her voice so quiet that I can't hear her from her. Just stand, like, right behind her. <laughs> Menacingly. I sigh and sit myself down. I know Sayori told me not to worry about her and to have fun with everybody else. That's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her? But I'm let let <laughs> Oh sorry. <laughs> now it feels like I'm the one behaving out of the ordinary. Motherfucker. Oh, I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. <laughs> dot dot dot. Okay, everyone. Oh, fine line, you fuck. After some time passing, pass. <sighs> Monica calls out of the cover. Why don't we share our poems now? Before I know it, 
Everything is back to normal. Everyone goes to retrieve their poems, and I do the same. I make eye contact with Monica, and she smiles at me. Weird. I wonder what she was talking about. The same. <laughs> mm, oh, shit, Sayori, obviously. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Hmm. It's nice, I guess. Fucking bitch. Come on, I can already tell you don't like it. Um. You don't need to worry about what I think. After all, you wrote this for someone else, didn't you? No. Probably Yuri. No, because we had more Natsuki than Yuri. Bitch. Eh? Yeah. I didn't write this for anyone specifically. Maybe. That's not really what I meant, though. But it's okay. Making new friends, just like I was hoping. It makes me really happy. Damn. I just forgot I need to open the files. Give me a second. Yeah! I keep forgetting to open the files. Um. Oops. Could you? I'm sorry. Left them in the dark. There's nothing new, though. Not that I can see anyway. Fucking rule 34 of, like, Sayori. Oh, shit. <laughs> You're heavy too, right? Uh... Um, Meh. This club? Well, uh, of course I am. Good. That's all I have me. <sighs> Thank you, Nova. Sayori? Is there something wrong? Hmm? Nothing. I'm just a little tired today. We will, Sayori. <laughs> All right. Just tell me if you need anything. I will. Don't worry about me, okay? Everybody says that, like when whoever is like down in the dumps, because I do it as well, and you say don't worry about me, okay? It's like, yeah, but then I'm gonna worry more about. Yeah, but don't worry about me though. And it's like, yeah, but I'm gonna worry about you though. Go play with everyone else now. She says that, like. We're meant, like, it's like she's breaking the fourth wall, too, because she's saying you can go play with everyone else now because we're playing a game. So you can go play and talk to the other girls now. If you insist... Sorry, I'm, I'm, too, I'm too caught up in her eyes. <laughs> uh, yay! I'm gonna go home a little bit earlier today. Oh, no. Sorry. Well, Monica, I wasn't feeling well, okay? See you tomorrow. Oh, Before I could say anything else, Sayori cheerfully walks out of the classroom, humming to herself. Uh-oh. Is this a day? I don't think this is a I day, is it? I think it's the day after. Well, I think it's like, I think this is like two days until the festival, so we gotta go through helping out the girls first, so Sayori will come back tomorrow, and then the next day, I think, is when she does it. Sugiri. Nova, this is wonderful. I can feel the emotion that you poured into it. Is this the result of trying what I suggested yesterday? Uh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> you did a good job explaining. I did really wanted to try giving it more feeling. <laughs> Yuri visibly swallows. Gulp. Gulp. Her <laughs> 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 hands appear sweaty. Jesus I'm Christ. Not, I'm not used to this. Used to what? I don't know. It's fine, take your time. She breathes and collects her thoughts. <sighs> what I imagine. I know that Yuri likes to think before she speaks, so I offer that patience to her. Yeah. Just being appreciated like this, I guess. Probably sounds really stupid, but seeing someone motivated by my writing, it just makes me really happy. Oh, careful, don't get aroused, even. To kill yourself. Are you saying you've never shared your writing before? Green nuts. Mm-hmm. Really? I don't believe it. 
I really only write for myself. And besides, I talk about kidding myself and having badges and bottles and bread and, and knives and everything. <laughs> and besides, if... people would just laugh at me. Do you really think that? <clears throat> yes. Again, you're not. Hmm. Even your close friends? Uh... For some reason, Yuri doesn't respond. She doesn't have close friends. Only your he doesn't friend have Anna. any friends. Yuri? Um, and the pencil. Yeah. Yuri smiles and said, oh, well, That's why she's pen. acting so strangely, because she's grabbed the pencil. <laughs> Nova, during lunchtime, I eat by myself. Did you know that? that? actually might be the way she's acting cringe. Yeah. Uh, it's a great <clears> time <throat> to find a quiet spot and do some reading. In fact, I always have some books with me. You could say I really enjoy reading. Well, that's one way to put it anyway, but books are s so full of amazing, inspiring people and papers so that you can cut your arm and get a paper cut. People you want to follow. Oh, yeah. Paper, are people, paper are people you just know would make a really good friend. Cheerful people who always put a smile on your face or deep thinkers and problem solvers who discover the mysteries of life. So when you look at it that way, I'm surrounded by friends every day, you know, and those friends don't laugh at me. They don't tease me for spacing out all the time. They don't make fun of my body type. And and they don't hate body me for acting type. like a know-it-all. People say that about you? I'm not a know-it-all, Nova. It's the opposite. I don't know anything. I don't know how to talk to people. I don't know how to make people see me as normal. I don't even know how to make myself happy. I have all these feelings, and all I can do with them is read and write. But it wasn't until now uh -oh, that I started sharing it with you. That I really understood what m was missing all this time. Oh god, I'm fucking. I feel sick. But I haven't really done anything. No? That's wrong. Just being patient and respectful, that's really important to me. I know I'm a difficult person, Nova. I speak too slowly. I second guess myself all the time. Sh I should probably be saying this in very slow lines. I know she speaks quietly and slowly. God damn it. I read too deeply into things. <laughs> that's not. You sound like fucking Captain Kirk. You need to shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> I'm sorry. But every time, you've always treated me just like anyone else. It's so rare that I feel comfortable with myself when I talk to others. But that's why every time I talk to you, I just feel really happy because I have a pencil up there. Wait, what? <laughs> it's a pen, you goddamn. It was a pen? Oh, shit. Well, oops. Well, I treat you how you deserve to be treated, Yuri, and if it's other people don't see it that way, me. then screw them. I mean, I joined this club hoping I would make a friends. Shit, not make a friends, make friends. Make and I would say I've had at least one success, wouldn't you? Um, well, if you put it that way, yeah. <laughs> we really are friends now, aren't we? Uh-oh, Monica's listening. She puts her hand, head, hand. To her head. Yuri puts her hands in her head. <laughs> Legit. This time she's smiling as she does it. Do you want to show me your poem? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Let me get it. Show your goddamn poem. Beach. Oh, I can never read her writing, dude. Um, so fucking uh, cursive. What does that say? Marvel? Marvel. A marvel millions of years in the making, where the womb of Earth chaotically meets the surface under a clean, shit, clear, not clean, blue sky, it's like an expansive shit. bliss. But beneath grey, uh, rolling clouds, an endless enigma. The easiest would get, fuck, the easiest world to get lost in is one where everything can be found. One can only build a sandcastle where the sand is wet, but where the sand is wet, the tide comes. What will it gently lick at your? Uh, will it gently lick at your foundations until you give in? That just makes me feel cringy. Will well, a sudden wave send you crashing it? down in the blink of an eye? Either way, the outcome is the same. Yet we still build sandcastles. I stand where the foam wraps around my ankles, where my toes squish into the sand. The salty air is therapeutic. The breeze is gentle yet powerful. I thought that said I suck my toes. <laughs> I suck my toes. I sink my toes into the ultimate boundary line, tempted by the foamy tendrils. Turn back, and I abandon my peace to a road at the shore. Shit. Drift forward, and I return to Earth forevermore. That's fucking weird. 
Um, I'm aware that the beach is kind of an inane thing to write about, but I did my best to make a matter to take a metaphorical approach to it. You say that like you didn't even write about it, want to write about it. Oh, you haven't heard? After yesterday, Natsuki and I, well, it was amusing that we wrote about something similar in such different ways, so Natsuki wanted us to write about the same topic as each other again. I suppose to better compare the differences in our writing styles or thought processes. Anyway, it was her idea. Knowing her, it's no surprise that she wanted to do something like that. She probably just wants to show off. It's not like I have a particular interest in her writing style. I just went with her request. But, well, I suppose it's not so bad to write about something simple on occasion. It can be refreshing, you know. It's good for me to calm my thoughts once in a while. Yeah, I think I agree. Thanks for sharing. That's key. Fuck Monica. <laughs> that brown haired bitch. <laughs> dot dot dot. dot, dot. <laughs> Fuck. That's alright. Alright. But yeah. As good as yesterday's, anyways. See what you're going up. Moving <sighs> for. <laughs> Fuck my life. It's just not really my style. I mean, that's fine. I'm mostly just glad that you're trying a little bit. Well, of course I'm at least trying. Why are you so emotionally invested in my poems anyway? Isn't that more of a compliment to me? Yeah? Uh, no, gross. It's not like I it's, it's not like I care. It's just that one of us in this club has to make sure you're not slacking off. Jacking off? Really? Jacking off, well, yeah. What if you ended up just scaring me away? It's, um... Good thing. It's not like you want to actually do that. Yeah, you're right. It's just kind of fun to hang out here, even if I have to put up with you. G uh. Ah. Just fuck it. It's like Dragon Ball. Keith's elbow connects with my stomach. It's fucking Meliodas in disguise. <laughs> oh. Oh, you're approaching me. Maybe I won't mind scaring you away after all. I was just joking. I know. Don't worry. I will steal. Bullshit. I fucking socked you in the mouth. <laughs> dot dot dot. The hell did you, did you call that a joke? Seriously hurt. The fuck does that hurt? Like a hundred and eight pound fucking woman. Maybe it was fun to hear that. I don't know. Dude, she's 4'11. I guess that's kind of the point. I should really just watch my mouth around that screen. How, what? Are you scared of this fucking child? Anyway. Natsuki holds her poem out to me like. Nothing ever happened. All right, is oh, this I'm some kind beach. of tragedy? I'll be your That's beach. Disgusting. Is beach meant to they be all about beach. <laughs> Oh, wait. No, they're all about beaches because I'm a dumbass and they did the same beat. God damn it, they yeah. did the same poem. Your mind is so full of troubles and fears that diminish your wonder over the years. But today I have a special place, a beach for us to go. A shore reaching beyond your sight, a sea that sparkles with brilliant light. The walls in your mind will melt you wanna, away hey. before the sunny glow. Well, you wanna do half? Do you wanna do half of the uh, poem and I do the other half? Okay. I'll stop here then, I guess. Yeah. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you dream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought had left you long ago. I like Natsuki's poems. They're really cute. Let's bury your heavy thoughts in a pile of sand, bathe in sunbeams and hold my hand. Wash your insecurities in the salty sea and let me be your shine. See your shine, shitty titties. Just leave your memories in a footprint, footprint, footprint trail. Set you free in my windy sail. Remember the reasons you wonderf you're wonderful when you press your lips to mine. I'll be the beach that watches your worries away. I'll be the beach that, wa that you daydream about all day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap 
in a way you thought had left you long ago. But if you let me, if you let me by your side, your own beach, your own escape, you'll learn to love yourself again. Why did you sound like the Burger King foot lettuce guy? Because <laughs> I talk slow. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. I'll I was be the thinking beach that makes your every heart every single in word. In a way that you thought I'd left you long ago. <laughs> I had to think about every single fucking word. <laughs> I hated it. I love this poem. It's so cute. I love it, Natsuki. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. I felt like I kept writing about negative things, so I wanted to write something with a nice message for once. Besides, which is awesome. Yeah, like I'd fucking know. Same. Kinda hard to write anything negative about the beach. I mean, well, yours taking over is a little more solemn. Well, it's, um... Jeez, you better not have anything to say about... You better not have anything bad to say about me, man. But to say about mine. <laughs> After all, she was the one who wanted to write. The fuck? Wanted us to write about the same topic. Fucking lying, Wait, bitch. Lying, bitch. Said lying. That, Yuri said that Natsuki wanted to write about her. Natsuki saying Yuri wanted to fucking. Mm. I can really see her doing that too. You must write about a simple talk topic, then trying to impress me by coming up with something all fancy. Uh, it's not like I care. I bet it was Monica's idea. But Monica <laughs> said they well, both... Well, obviously. Yeah. I just did it anyway. I mean, I guess mine ended up being kind of metaphorical, too. There's nothing wrong with doing that once in a while. At the very least, it was good practice. Mm. I don't want to go to Monica. Can I skip? Monica. Yeah, skip her. Skip that bitch. Click. Aw. Oh. Hi, Nova! <laughs> Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Um, well... Being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people... That's another. I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure! <laughs> But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. It would also make me very happy to see. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. Let Monica take the poem I'm holding in my hands. Hmm. Great job, Nova. I was going, ooh, in my head while reading it. <laughs> it's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. Underestimated you. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, it's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way it all it'll counts. Uh, blah blah. It always counts when I put in some effort. <laughs> That's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? I wasn't going for Yuri. Twat. Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Unlike Sayori, who likes using simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness. Yuri likes it when readers are left to derive in their own meaning out of it. It's very challenging to write like that effectively. But allowing yeah, people to get something bitch. out of it just by feel, or letting them deeply analyze all of the nuisances... Nuances, sorry? Uh, it can take years of practice, Nuances. which I'm assuming Yuri has at this point. I never really asked, though. I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet. Don't worry so much about that. You do your own thing. Just keep exploring and learn by trying new things. Anyway! I'll share my poem with you now, alright? Uh, uh, alright. Dude, no, uh, Yuri's just farther in the tech tree. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna read this one? How do you want me to go first? If you wanna. The lady who knew, who knows every- fuck, I You're fucked up. you fucking up. Come I know. on! Why do- ah! The lady who knows everything. Lytle. God damn it, man. The old tale tells of an old tale tells of a lady who wanders earth. Lady who knows everything. Beautiful lady who has found 
every answer, all meaning, all purpose, and all was every ever saw. Here I am, a feather. Me. Is here. Hatch is here. Is it my, my God? Is it my turn? No, it's not. Go a little bit. Up a little bit. What? Up a little bit. You read that part, Dick. Oh, okay. Sorry. That's that's a drip. Last drift, the sky victim of the currents of winds. Of the wind. Of the mind. Wind. Mind. Mind. Fuck! It is wind. It looks like mind. After day, I search. I search with little hope, knowing the le knowing legends don't exist. But when all else has failed me, and all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains. The last dim star glimmering in the twilight sky. Now you read. Until one day... The wind ceases to blow, I fall, and I fall, and I fall, and fall even more. Gentle as a feather, a dry quill, expressionless. But a hand catches me between the thumb and forefinger, the hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything, knows what I am thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning, there is no purpose, and we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend. Your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back afloat, and I pick up a gust of wind. What's that mean? I have no idea what the fuck that means. I don't know what that means. Yeah. Talking about feathers. A lady who knows everything. Could she be talking about her creator? Could she be talking about the one that's making her change the girls, maybe? Maybe. Because they know everything that's going to happen. But they say that in the end, there is no meaning of it. There is no purpose to it. They only seek the impossible, which is obviously getting him to love them. She's not yeah. their le like she's not their legend, and their legend does not exist. I have yeah. a feeling that's what it might be about. Maybe that. You yeah. You know, I feel like learning and looking for answers are the sort of things that give life meaning. Not to get too philosophical or anything, but it was kind of on my mind, so that's what I wrote about. Hmm. I see. I never really put much thought into it. In a way, it's almost paradoxical. Paradoxical. Fuck. Because if we had all the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? You know, there's one thing I noticed. It, it seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. <laughs> are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans are two-dimensional creatures. I think you'd know that better than anyone. You mean, one-dimensional. <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it's not that good? It can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something that you put so much into. She reminds me of fucking Dora the Explorer then. But if, you find, Dora other... Explorer. <laughs> if you find other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just telling you that your writing is good or okay or bad, they'll want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things that you can work on. It's much more encouraging that way, and it will make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Oh my god, this is so strange. Okay, you three. We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out... Hold on a second. Just me, or did you say something strange just now? Eh. This thing did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. Ah! I don't have a catchphrase. Nice. This mood's so weird today. Even Yuri isn't mean to it. Uh -huh. Stagnating air is common <laughs> foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. In your book, well, Look, the only thing different is that Siri isn't here. It seems that you're right. Mm. Sayori always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. 
the heck did she run off to anyway? God, she just went to pee. Natsuki, please show some decency. I don't, I don't like the word pee, I use piss. But come on. Uh, actually, she wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously? Of all the time to not go home with her. Of all the times to not go home with her. Pick the time she's not feeling well. So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. Uh, no. Fuck. First of all, stop misunderstanding my friends who would say worry. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Oh? That curious expression coming from Yuri, of all people. Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier and everything's fine. What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out what the rest of the festival preparations are. Anyway. So, Fuck let's you. decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. Oh, wait. I already know what I'm doing. Oh, We're going with Natsuki, okay? I don't care about Yuri. <laughs> like I do, but I don't. That's right. Natsuki will be making yeah. cupcakes, but we might need a lot of them and different flavors. Can you handle all that by can, yourself? Can we just, can we just like, walk to fucking Sayori's house? I want to go to Sayori. I know. Challenge accepted. And as for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Sayori will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri... Uh, fucking a fanboy today. You can... Um... Hmm. Question mark? Guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? I... I'm useless. No, no! That's not it at all! You're just a grumpy little bitch who doesn't speak to anybody but Nova because you're so obsessed with him, you're a fucking cunt! Anyway, you're the most talented person here, you know. Hmm. Na mm. Now the Natsuki's pouting too. Oh no. Jeez, I even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Siori enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Uh, that may be the case. But if you can all- I can't also be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know. So you should make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Yeah, ones that nobody will be able to read because her writing is so cursive. Ah, <laughs> bitch. Um, about that, I- I love atmosphere. Yuri's just so fucking hell, she scared me then. Yuri's taking off her top. Stop. Yuri's currently going ape. Can you read your line, please? Yuri has gone monkey. Yuri's expression suddenly changes, and she stares at her desk focus and starts nodding to herself. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great. Oh, You'll be fuck. a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you, Nova. The one who's truly useless. <laughs> Don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have pretty heavy tasks bitch. to handle since you got down mouth. It would probably go a long way to get me in my hand. <laughs> you could always help me out as well. I would be really appreciative of that. Nobody ever picks Monica, and I want to know what happens if you pick Monica. I don't want to pick up, but I'm just wondering. Does I don't want to fuck. I don't want to yeah. fuck the game programmer, That's... okay? Is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give to you. Oh, goddamn! <laughs> Found it! Okay, what? It's not like Monica's going to give me a choice. <laughs> you should be sitting on your butt, on your butt anyway. Then you'd be standing. You'd be laying down. <laughs> um, if I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would. You mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. Nova may not like to be around if you only make him out to be a nuisance. So therefore, he may be more suited yeah, to bitch. assisting with the decorations. Hold on. Oh shit. Hold on. I never said that. How hard could it be? Make a few fucking decorations, anyway. Oh my god, if that is swearing into it. Sounds more like you're making excuses for Nova to fuck you. <laughs> what are you saying? It'll be extremely meticulous work, you little bitch. Baking isn't, you little shit stain. What do you think, you fucking neo-Nazi? Guys, guys. 
<laughs> Let's settle down for a moment, you're both acting like twats. In the end, I think it's up to nobody to decide how he'd like to contribute. Besides, he does, he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know. <laughs> Winky face. So I'm sure he's interested in... Literally just said you ho. I, I'm surprised as well, bitch! Sorry, sorry. I was just saying, though, he can fuck me instead of you two. Burn. Jeez. <laughs> we just settled this already. Yeah. No, but you're okay with this, right? Oh, well, you wanna fuck? You. Uh, of course. <laughs> Very well. In that case... Doesn't make it any better that people think Natsuki's a femboy and I'm voicing him? Or <laughs> Her. Oh god. Ah, there it is. <laughs> Everyone looks straight at me. Sayori. Yeah, but I, I, I think if you choose. Sayori. I think if you choose Sayori, then I think you might have to go with Monica. I'm not sure. Right, let's save it here. And then if we don't like how it comes out when we pick Sayori, then we can pick uh, Natsuki. Let's pick Sayori. Sayori needs her help. Sayori needs the shit. Need to fuck Sayori. That is what I'm trying I mean, to say. If it's gonna be anyone, then I prefer helping Sayori. I mean, we're already neighbors, and but Monica said. I just said that Sayori was helping her. Bitch. Jeez. Do you really hate this? Hate us that much? No. no. Sorry, I didn't mean for this to be difficult. Just think of the club, okay? Well, That's hold on a minute. Key. If we help Monica... And they won't to... die? No, I think if we ch if we helped Monica, I'm pretty sure they argue with us and Monica, and then Monica's like, fine, just choose one of those two. So... Dun, 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 dun. No, 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 no. Alright, we'll do that again. And then, let's pick Monica. Well, I guess I should probably be helping Monica. Yay, you pick me! Uh-oh. Hold on one motherfucking second. <laughs> yeah! Monica, you're the one who needs the least help out of all of us. But... I agree with Natsuki. Fuck you. Bitch. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, but you already have Sayori as well. But Bonova was the one who. Uh... Doesn't fucking matter. You're the one who scared him into picking you in the first place. Tramp. <laughs> the club president, Monica. <laughs> Onika. Supposed to make responsible decisions for the club. Instead Monica, of being a horny little shit. Monica, you shouldn't let any ulterior motives interfere with this decision. Ulterior, ulterior motives? What are you saying, Yuri? In fact, it sounds like you guys are the ones with ulterior motives. Excuse me? Otherwise, this wouldn't have been made into such a big deal in the first place. That's completely false, Monica. Yeah. Uh-oh. You have a lot of work to do, you know. You won't do as good of a job if you make us work alone. Maybe that's true. Think of the club, Monica. If you want our event to succeed, then we need to appropriately distribute our resources. Um... <laughs> so, are you going to do the right thing, Presidente? Okay, okay, I get it. It's technically most logical for Nova to help one of you two. So, I guess that's what we'll do. Do you have a preference, Nova? No, that's okay. Well, baking does sound like it could be fun. And you guys made it sound like a lot of work, so it could probably be used in two people. Or... Making a ton of fun. Look at how depressed and depressed she is. She's just sad. <laughs> She's just a sad panda. <laughs> of how 
Every time they get an argument, Nova is just quiet. He's just like, um... Silent. Yeah, that's how I would be. I'm not gonna fucking lie. Dude, if I was up, like, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna leave now. <laughs> Definitely agree. Eh, just a minute just ago, you feet. were saying that... That's because... Dot, dot, dot. Smile line, fucker. Mine, okay. Well, anyway, you'll be fine by yourself, right, Yuri? Of course. I'm used to Wait, it do after I get, all. Do I get to Aww. voice the death scene of Sayori? I guess that just makes me sad. That that just makes me sad. It's like I'm used to it after all, being alone. It's like, oh, bitch, I feel your pain. Dot 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 dot. That's good. Even though Yuri is being melodramatic, it's a little hard to not feel bad. Dude, you know, how about I solve the problem for us? We all go to someone's house, Natsuki we bakes have in three. the kitchen. Oh. No, Natsuki bakes in the kitchen, Two, though. Monica and Sayuri are on the Two. table, sorting out all the pamphlets, and then Yuri is also there, so that everybody is there and nobody's left behind. How about that? That's everything, right? And plus, Natsuki doesn't get beaten by her dad. Exactly. <laughs> so, no, I think that's it. Are you guys excited? Yes. <laughs> Everything except the performance is gonna be awesome. I don't think that really counts. What about you, Nova? Me. I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it'll turn out. That's good enough for me. <laughs> what about you, Yuri? Yuri? She's still sulking. <laughs> dot dot dot. He starts pouting too. It's not... It's not that big of a deal or anything. Well, it might not just be that. <laughs> I think that Yuri might just be feeling a little unappreciated in general. Underappreciated. Having to come up with something for her to do, and then nobody offering to help. Doesn't mean... Oh. Natsuki glances back and forth between everyone with a, with a worried expression. Look. Natsuki goes over and puts her head down on Yuri's shoulders. That's cute. Yuri. You really are the most talented one here. And... You're going to help make the event a lot more fun and welcoming. And... Cupcakes probably help a lot too. You're going to make the atmosphere special. It'll be really important for the way that people feel during the performances. So... You need to stop being dumb and give yourself a little more credit. Natsuki releases her hands and turns around to face the other direction. Correction. You didn't really mean that, did you? Um... Really, but... The reason the only one surprised... Monica and I are also taken aback by Natsuki's words. Natsuki of all people to be saying such encouraging things. I begin to understand. Natsuki was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell that she tried to say something Sayori would say at, at the time like this. Sayori always helps so everyone smile and feel good about themselves. I'm sorry for being dumb. I'm going to do my best. And all of us are going to make it a really great event. Yeah. Yeah. I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today, so I guess it's time for us to head out. Okay, I'm staying a bit, long, a bit longer. I got anything, any reading day. God, Jesus. Fair enough, there's nothing wrong with that. Everyone packs up their things. We start to follow Monica and Yuri out of the door as they chat between each other. Um, where are you going? Eh. Fuck, that was your line. 
still need to figure out our plans for this weekend. What, which position? Oh. What? Stop. You literally would have gotten home. Plus that you didn't even have a way to contact Oh, that's true. I have no idea how that slipped my mind. Jeez, good thing I stopped you. Giving you my number, okay? I'm gonna abuse that. You better not- You better not make it weird or anything. I'm gonna send you memes. Why would I do that? <laughs> send you dick pics. Oh he gives me your number. Gives me your number? Gives me her number. Fuck! Okay. Coming over on Sunday. It's church day. <laughs> Bring all the ingredients. Wait, you're coming to my house? Well, yeah. What's wrong with that? I mean, I just figured that since I'm the one helping, I would be going to your house. You're right. I could have a guy over at my house. Dad would kill me. Exactly, right there. Really? That's kind of strict if you ask me. Yeah, how do you think I feel? Do anything when my dad is home? Anyway, I just need to complain for a second. We have each other's numbers now. That's all I need from you. Your dick. I mean, I guess I'll text you when I'm coming over. Well, fine by me. Yeah. I'm only going to sh <laughs> What? Of baking so- Is baking a code word? Or- <laughs> Uh, so you better look forward to it. Is baking a what? Code word for dick. Oh my god, oh. Didn't you say you were just gonna give me dirty work? <laughs> well, well, that's <laughs> not out of the cards. I was just saying that. It's not like I could act in front of everyone. We fucking in a crowd. I was <laughs> looking forward to this. She's so cute. Wait, really? Kind of. Because I never got to bake with someone else before. I bet Monica's listening. She she's always listening. She's a fucking admin, basically. That's all it is. So. It's a hacker. Alright, I get it. Uh, Sorry for overreacting. Anyway, I'll be heading out now. See you on Sunday. Axed! Ah. Never mind. Believe this. He's going to be coming over, from, over to my house on Sunday. No, I would have preferred to do this with Sayori. I mean, you can still still walk in and you know, drop your pants, but he said he still shoots through the roof. I guess I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point. Like she's a dog. What? Oh, God. Who knows what might end up happening when, she, when we were outside of school. That's a even told me she was looking for it. That's scary. I sh shake my head. I know I feel nervous that Sayori found, finds out about this because she likes you. She wants that D. Vitamin D. It's not, it's not like we feel that way about each other. Oh, she does, obviously. Besides, Monica said, it's about the club. I have nothing to worry about. Mm -hmm. If I could just if I just go with it, I'll have a good time. Yeah, good time. Wasn't oh, she's worried under about your Yuri? What? Sari was worried about Yuri, not fucking. Let's see. Yeah. Already Sunday. Yes. I've been getting. I've been getting. Increasingly anxious about Natsuki's upcoming visit. Are you scared that she'll go through your Not search history? I was going for another approach, but that too. She's looking, I keep she's telling looking myself. at their anime book. They're like instead of Facebook, it's anime book. 
And when they open it up, or Yandere book, and she opens it, like, she opens it up and she just sees, like, pictures of her on his fucking fat page. He's got, like, a folder with his fat material in it, and she's in it. Yes. There's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. That's terrifying. Some person actually did that at my school. Um, I wonder if she'll act any, any different. That's just too, that's... Well, she's been texting me a lot. What the fuck, really? Sent each other one after. We sent each other one after exchanging numbers to double check, but I turned out trying to do a conversation. She's almost a different personality on the phone, using tons of emoji and cute language. That's fucking ooh, weird. Ooh. She's using the ooh. -ooh. <laughs> she's she is probably. She also really liked complaining about things, but I kind of saw that one coming. Putting Natsuki aside, I haven't heard a thing from Sayori since she left club earlier today. The yeah. other day. Fuck my... Wouldn't you... Like, if, if, if she's yeah. your friend and your neighbors, either after school that day Legit, she went right home there. early, you'd go and check on her. Or if you didn't go and check on her that day after school, you would certainly... Most certainly go and see her on Saturday. Yeah, goddamn. Let's hang out with her. Or, you know, what you always want. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything, but I don't know. Come on. Oh, his internet probably went out again. Unlucky. <laughs> Apologies for this, guys. Come on, unlucky. <laughs> okay, I think his internet's caught, like, gone and cut out, so... Just give him a minute. He's in the middle of a snowstorm currently. So. Oh shit. I'm worried in the back of my mind. Just leave it at that. I accidentally pressed the button. This game's pretty good. There's nothing in the save files yet either, I don't think. Yeah, there's nothing in the save files. Nothing new, anyway. To be honest, I don't even know what I'm into looking for. Come on, I'm lucky. Shit. Oh, he left the cut. Like, he left the Discord chat, too. Yeah, he's. He'll be back, hopefully. Fingers crossed. But I know that his internet cut out halfway through, so. Yeah. I'm just gonna have to give him a minute. I don't really want to continue it without him because he's been with me through this. So. <laughs> Just wait on the Discord chat to see if he'll come back.
Right, well, he's gone. I'm gonna quickly pop to the bathroom. So just give me a minute. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. <sighs> and Lucky's still not back yet. Shit. I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should continue without him. Because he might get between it. Oh, we'll just continue it. Between what Sayori said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to be putting Sayori's feelings aside when she might need me? No, it's not. I decided to visit Sayori before, the n before Natsuki comes over. Ooh. Well, I'm gonna leave it on this, actually. I don't think I'll start it without him, because that is a bit of a oof situation. I think my gate's open. Let's go close my gate. Come on, unlucky. Okay. Alright. Well, considering unlucky's gone. I don't know when he's going to be back. Instead of dragging this on, I think I'll leave it here today. Uh, we'll carry on with it tomorrow. So, we'll just leave that save there. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Doki Doki. I'll be back with you tomorrow. So thanks guys. Peace out. Bye!